Warning, I am not a medical professional, nor do I play one on YouTube. I am, however, an adult that can read and do my own research and make my own decisions for my own health and well-being. I hope you are, too. Okay, everybody, it's Tom here, and I am here to speak to you today and encourage you today to print out the article that I have linked over here in the comments section of this video. Uh, I'm going to be speaking to you today about this article entitled Bariatric Nutrition Suggestions for the Surgical Weight Loss Patient. This was released by the American Society for Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery in March of 2008. Um, it basically is the latest nutritional and supplementation recommendations for weight loss surgery patients. And um, it would be uh, a great thing for you to read it, to understand it. I would even print it out um, and have a copy on hand to refer to. Uh, but this is the article, and I am going to go through quickly uh, just the layout of the article. Um, and it's a document that's intended to provide an overview for the elements that are important to the nutritional care of the bariatric patient. The goal of the document is to provide suggestions for conducting nutritional assessments and education on supplementation and follow-up care. Uh, Basically, um, the best part of this, um, or the most important part that I want to speak about today, begins on page 7, and it's the suggested supplementation levels for each of the surgeries that are available. So for a gut, uh, AGB, a gust, adjustable gastric banding, uh, lap band, uh, RNY gastric bypass, BPDDS, bilopancreatic diversion with duodenal switch, and it goes through each of the supplements and tells you for each of those surgeries uh, what you should be taking. Um, you know, if your surgeon is telling you that you can take two children's chewable vitamins a day and that's all you need to worry about, well, listen, folks, you need to reevaluate that and you need to do some research for your own self because once you suffer a vitamin deficiency or nutritional deficiency, it's very hard to recover from. Um, you know, you don't want to develop uh, anemia and, be, and low iron. You don't want to develop calcium deficiencies and have your bones begin to break and your teeth start falling out. Um, you know, if you should be taking 1,800 to 2,000 milligrams of calcium a day, you need to be taking it. Um, you know, when we had weight loss surgery, we were told about supplementation, and if you weren't, then you probably didn't do enough research on your own, but, um, you know, you made the commitment to take these supplements for life. So it's very important. Not getting proper su supplementation can lead to long-term problems and organ failure and just things you don't want to get involved in. So it would behoove you to do your research now and really take supplementation seriously. I've always been a person to take supplements, so um, having the DS uh, that requires even more supplementation than an RNY uh, gastric bypass patient uh, wasn't a problem for me. And I take about 30 pills a day, okay? I know it's a little bit different for an RNY patient because you uh, have issues uh, with swallowing, um, you know, larger pills and things like that. I don't have that issue because I don't have a stoma. I have my actual stomach and pyloric valve. But you need to figure out a way to get these supplements in, um, whether it be chewables, liquids, whatever. Um, so please print out this article. It's over here. Begin page seven. Read through it. Understand it. Begin page seven and go through each of the supplements uh, and the values for each of them. Um, in the back of the article, it goes through and speaks about the um, uh, etiology and potential deficiencies of each of the vitamins and what the symptoms are of those deficiencies. Uh, it's just an, an amazing article that, um, you know, 
your surgeon is a surgeon. He's just that. He's an expert in surgery. Um, so, you know, and, and you have a nutritionist who maybe is not educated well in bariatric nutrition. This is what they should be using to learn from. Um, you know, they uh, should be suggesting to you these levels. And if they're not, you need to do your own research and decide whether you agree with this and if it's worth it to you to do the supplementation that's suggested. Um, based on my research and the people that I've come into play with uh, in uh, weight loss surgery over the last year, um, I've learned that it's important to do this stuff right up front. Um, there's even a column in here that, that tells you uh, when you can begin taking the uh, specific supplements, like begin one day after discharge, things like that. So read this article, print it out, um, and if you have any questions about it, I'd be glad to try and help you. Um, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to link over here. Uh, Vitalady.com is where I get a lot of my uh, supplements from. Michelle and Don uh, own the company. They're out in Washington State, and they are both distal RNY patients, so they understand malabsorption, they understand supplementation, and Michelle hangs out on obesityhelp.com and gives great information to people. And um, although she's not a medical professional either, she spends her life being educated on bariatric nutrition. And that's who I trust with my nutritional um, supplementation uh, guidance. And I, I would do anything she tells me to do because she is... Um, uh, somebody that really understands about each specific vitamin to a level that I can't even comprehend myself. So um, she will help you uh, review your blood work and get you on a program. Uh, so, you know, this isn't a commercial for her. It's just a um, testimonial of myself, of her passion. I've met uh, Don and her and Michelle in person in New Jersey when they were traveling across the United States to go to the... Um, the uh, ASMB uh, conference in DC this past year and um, it's uh, definitely an important thing so that's it guys I just wanted to um, give everybody a nudge to take those supplements uh, take in the the amounts of protein that you're supposed to be taking in uh, get the hydration that you need as a bariatric patient um, and be healthy because, you know, we didn't sign on to take these supplements for the year that we're losing weight. We signed on to take these supplements for the rest of our lives. So I hope everybody uh, takes heed of this, prints out the article, and does some research on their own. Um, even beyond this article, there's a lot of other studies out there, but um, this is the latest release from uh, the... Uh, the society. So that's it guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Comment, video responses, whatever. Bye.